Yeah, I, I actually thought about this before this DLC. I actually, um, when I was playing the base game, I actually thought for a moment on the back of my head, I was like, yeah, what if, what if, what if Gabe is a synth? What if this entire time Gabriel is actually a synth and he got replaced and, you know, it, it, the, your the, um, it, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't shock me if he was, especially, con so it's really interesting that this guy is saying this kind of stuff now. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get straight enough. to the point. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need okay. anything else before you go? Uh, what's your story? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after uh. my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Huh. Just sitting. One so day, you came to give it a finally purpose. occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do. Who right. I was. Right. I've been doing that ever since. Was well, well, I'm glad. Else? I'm proud. I'm proud of you. The Institute you should is destroyed, know. by the way. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Mm. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. You're Is welcome. Is there anything else you need? I'm wondering, I'm wondering if there's anything that, uh, I'm sure that there's parts of this will probably be opened up or closed depending on which factions you betrayed. And so if you did, like, go with the Institute, I'm wondering what kind of opportunities open up. Tell I'm them I'm on the railroad. that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But, but the, the prize. cost. I oh, know the how cost. frightening it is. The risk of capture. But there's no more Institute, Sacrificing so. what you are? Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? I... that's actually... you have a... you make a very good point, sir. I... I, I respect your, your... your beliefs and your thoughts. Not here debate. We protect sins. I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place. And it's unfair of me to judge. While I enjoy relative safety from so far away, was there anything right. else I can do for you? I might as well, since he's... I might as well just put all the cards on the table, even though I have no intention of attacking anyone here just because I'm, I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel. And we have plenty to say about sense. How dangerous they are. We're not dangerous. Those who've used us tried to replace humans with my kind. They're dangerous. All we want is to live in peace. And I'm fine with that. Own. I will make sure See you do. See for yourself. Walk through Acadia. Talk to my people. We aren't a threat to anyone. Gabe believes them. Gabe believes it. Surrender peacefully, sense our threats. No, I'm giving Acadia a chance. This is totally... I mean, he's a robotics engineer. All right. I'll reserve judgment for now. Thank you. Now, was there anything else I can do for you? So You're all everyone synths? here in Acadia or, is a synth? Yes. Or believes they are. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mine wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. Okay. Tell me more about this place, 
Arcadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything gotcha. else? No, I should I've got get nothing going. else. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Help the sense of Acadia. I feel like you get a lot more stuff with with Nick Valentine though. But Hey. Go on. So just because uh I I uh figured there was probably some extra content uh with Nick Valentine uh going to this to this Acadia synth, you know, base of operations. So let's see what happens if we bring Nick with us into this whole this whole thing. I'm wondering what the differences are, if any. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, uh. I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, Hello. Peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Uh. Well, in that case, I want a Nuka Cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and hmm, a pony. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own, and I only see him when I look in a mirror. Oh. Dick. <gasps> it it can't be you. Oh! Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, oh. if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Yes, yes, please explain, sarcastically. I know this joke. Two androids walk into a bar. I'm afraid the punchline isn't going to be very funny. This is totally different. We were prototypes, Nick. Oh! The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several no. attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. Wow. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my <gasps> Nick. Oh, I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. Oh if my god. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Wow. Nick, is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can Synths even be related? Just because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? I gotta think about this. Wow. Wow. I'm wondering... This seems like such a huge, like, revelation. I'm wondering if even... 
I'm gonna have to check to see if uh, even after you do all of the stuff with Dima, like I did when I had Longfellow with me. Why? I'm. Did I say something? Nick, you've if you've known me for so many so for so long, we like you you know that I have the Forrester syndrome. But I'm wondering if I'm wondering if um, if even even after if you brought Nick later, if you didn't bring Nick with this initial conversation with Dima and you brought Nick later on, I'm wondering if Dima will still recognize Nick and they'll still have this conversation because that would make that would make sense. Like it shouldn't matter if you brought Nick with you realistically when you first meet Dima versus later on, um, Dima should still recognize Nick, right? Because um, if they don't start this conversation up, regardless of when you bring Nick to Dima, that's a little, that's a little disappointing. Um, but I would like to hope that the writers or the programmers, they would, more the programmers, the developers, did make sure that this conversation does get initiated, you know, regardless, because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Like, why would why would Dima only recognize Nick when they initially meet versus later on? So I'm going to double check that later and see, because uh, it would be really a shame if, um, if in my, I guess, canon playthrough, if uh, Nick and Dima didn't end up having this reunion, I guess. Is it really possible that you wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this hole? There's only so much room of their argument. I don't know. It's not like we've got the instruction manual. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Yeah, then it is. I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. Does it really matter? Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these, or were they manufactured? Was I born this way? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie, that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I wonder what happens if Gaby actually says this. In the back of my mind, suspected. That's what I thought. If you don't mind, what's the first thing you can remember? You first. I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. In the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite... content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours. I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? 
just a single day and then waking up alone? He's got a point. We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Right, it Isn't happened it to us before with our son. Isn't it funny how can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Hmm. <laughs> whatever. The lecture. Fine. <laughs> this isn't canon. I can is be like whatever. <laughs> to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Kasumi is usually working down below, whenever you wish to see her. Did you need anything else before you go? I kind of just want to talk to Nick. Nothing else. I should else. get going. Of course. Perhaps you weren't in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Are you all right there, Nick? Hey. Have something you need? Yeah, I want to talk hey, to you. Hey, Valentine. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? He's your brother, though. It's hard to deny it, Nick. The similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. But I was just a failure. They gave up. Just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. I never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Proof? What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. Of course. Of course, Nick. We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, go ahead. Need something? Your thoughts? A lot of people out here could use a hand. Yeah, the... Oh, nothing. Got it. The resemblance between the Dima and, and Nick are definitely uncanny. They definitely do bear a resemblance. They definitely... I mean, I think that they're brothers. I think they are. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome that they added that little tidbit with uh, with Nick and Dima. Really cool. Good job on that, Bethesda. I was happy. <coughs> there nothing you so, need to be concerned you've talked to about. Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Sure. Are you another faction I get to I get to join? Ooh, ooh, I like joining factions. Gabe, Gabe loves factions. Um, synths are right. safety. It is a good cause. Synths definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Demon knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's um, not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. There's so many things to keep track of. Yeah, those are cool. Those are really cool. Right. Right? Wouldn't want him blowing a fuse. Huh? Uh, no. Not really. <laughs> uh, fog condensers, demons, augments, never mind. Oh, if there's the anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd <laughs> rather not. New? 
It's not them. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? Yeah. What happened what exactly? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Ooh, Trappers, level up, just by talking. Crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. But the point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Data recovery. Retrieve the storage drives. Hey. Yes? Your, what's Tell your story, yourself, Faraday? Faraday? Me? I don't know why you yeah. care. I escaped from the Institute, care. just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help, though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. I've got an 11 ch charisma, dude. Of course I care. It's part of my it's part of my thing. That's just how I roll. Dina's augments. Looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. Which I find pretty awesome, Can you tell honestly. me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, right. but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor. And I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Hmm. I'm sorry. Never mind. Okay. Thanks, Faraday. Best to grab it now right. while you can. Yeah, I'm just going through and seeing if there's anything adventurous. Bottle cap. This place is, uh... Not as large as I thought it would be, but, you know... Dima? Dima? Acadia is open to you. Did you need anything? Uh, nothing I else, I guess. Going. Of course. I should go. Uh... What's upstairs? Is there anything upstairs? Pretty neat lab. Full of bizarre, bizarre things. Okay. Right. Acadia storage key. Oh. Okay. Well, they said all, all of Acadia is uh, is open to me, so I'll just help myself to the key. Um, you track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. Thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey you look just was unnecessary. Like, you look just like... You look just like, um, the leader of the... The leader of Des Desdemona. You look just like the leader of the railroad. And miss out on a fun boat ride? Never. Well, then at least you have the return trip to look forward to. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? I'm wondering if she was made to, uh, she was built specifically to replace Desdemona originally. Of course, for all we know, Desdemona is a synth as well. How do you How manage do you find to them? track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. 
Thanks. So, what's your, what's story? your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had ah. escaped from the Institute. I was tracking Ooh, a, a synth courser. and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Good. All right, I want to I'd help. like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. Only a little. Only a little. What's, What's the, problem? the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him. And I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. Hmm. This island is a death trap. Your sense probably ended up as Meyer alert food. I certainly hope not, but I'd like to know for certain. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one huh. of us, a synth. Oh, he's the one who Brooks. meets the yeah, new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, okay. he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't right, cooperate, right. Tell him that his designation is L-792. That should gotcha. convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. Hey. Did you need something? Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? You're already taking care of it, aren't you? Yep. All right. Thank you, man. Ooh, wow. Faraday's terminal. Status. Array status online. Memory integrity 94.7. CPU load 31.5%. System errors. Array 17 offline. Array 4 drive intermittent response. Array 6 uh, drive B7 not responding. Okay. Yes? Nothing, Veriday. I'm just snooping. Don't mind me. Back to what you were doing. Uh. I guess Kasumi's down here, is my guess. So are you okay, Kasumi? Everything... All I need to do is make sure she's safe. And it's her choice whether she wants to, to come with me or not. I'm not going to force her to come back. Oh, wow. Katie There's a lot of not look here. Like much from the outside. But it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but... It means there's hope. No, sure. A little hope and some duct tape, and all your problems are solved. I know, I know. Not exactly a fortress, is it? When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost. So scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing. That she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here right. I am. For all it's worth. Yeah, here you are. You're lucky. You're lucky to have found a place in the world. Yeah, I guess. This just wasn't where I thought I'd end up. Any of it. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. 